Hey guys, it's me, Vinny. I'm back with another video. Usually I would do a live stream, but because YouTube's acting up a little bit, I didn't make this pre-recorded. So, I know this was news for a couple days ago, but I want to get my two cents on the matter. Um, as everyone knows, Dan Snyder is no longer the owner of the Washington Commanders, formerly known as the Redskins, as well as the Washington football team. And now they're owned by Josh Harris, who also owns the New Jersey Devils of the NHL and the Philadelphia 76ers of the NBA. So that means he has stake in a team in three different cities, as well as, you know, their minor league affiliates and whatnot. And Josh Harris has um, said that they look to bring the team back to its amazing legacies of the teams of the 30s or the 80s or the 90s. Not the last 24 years with Dan Snyder where they made the playoffs maybe a couple times and they're usually on the bottom of their division and they're usually really bad in terms of off the field scenarios and workplace misconduct and everything else. So the, he looks to do that. But him and Magic Johnson have talked about something. And that is... It's very much possible, and honestly at this point rather probable, that the Commanders will change their name yet again. It was the Redskins for so long, from the 30s to 2020. They were known as the Washington football team for two years as a placeholder name. And then this the reason and then they went with Commanders, partially because even though people wanted wolves and red tails and warriors and so many other names. They were owned by this guy named Martin McCauley, and Dan Snyder didn't want to pay even a couple dollars just to get the name. So they went with someone, someone that was very safe in Commanders. It's all right. I don't hate it as much as other people. I do think it's rather bland of a name, Commanders. I think the uniforms are not as good as the ones they had before, but I thought they were okay. I do like the white one. Black one I'm not entirely a huge fan of. I think it's kind of weird with the W in front. It's like it's Wario or something. But there's a real chance that the Commanders change their name yet again. But what is that going to be? Well, we have to look back at the drawing board. Now, there's some people that say, oh, bring back the name Redskins. That's not going to happen, guys. I, I doubt they're going to bring back the name the Redskins. And even if they do, I don't think they're going to be cheeky and use a potato instead. Um, some people say, oh, bring back Washington football team. It was so cool. No, it wasn't. It was embarrassing. Like, you really want to be called Washington football team? Oh, it's so icon. Really? You really want that? That's embarrassing. And if they don't want to hold any relics of the Dan Snyder era, well, one, you got to give a proper statue for Sean Teller instead of a, a store mannequin out of wires. And second of all, you also don't want to have your team be called the football team. It's embarrassing. When everyone has a team name, you go with football team or football club. Like, really? You really want that? Yeah, I understand soccer does it, but this isn't soccer. This is football. you got to go with an actual name. But then you go back to the options. You know, Wolves is something I would love to have, or Red Wolves. Warriors, I think, would be a nice name to have. Some could say, well, the Golden State Warriors already have it. But you already have overlap with Cardinals and Panthers and Giants and so on and so forth. So I don't think it's really much of an issue. But I've been seeing this name float around again. And Zenny's talked about it. And, you know, the more I kind of vibe with it, the more I say, you know, that's probably the best outcome. Why not the Red Tails? Named after the Tuskegee Airmen. This would be a really nice way to give back to the people of D.C. as Washington, D.C. is a predominantly, predominantly black neighborhood. You know, it would it'd be something that could really bring a lot of people together. And, you know, why not use that to uplift people? I mean, Magic Johnson is the minority owner. I'm sure he knows about, you know, poor people from... Michigan, where he grew up, or Los Angeles, where he's lived the last, like, 40 years of his life. I'm sure he would love to honor those people, and I think calling them the Red Tails would be the appropriate name, and I think it's great PR, and then it's great to uplift the people in your your town, your city. It respects the military. It has that same sort of commander vibe, except with an actual name people request at the end of it. You still have the red in it. You could still use... 
you know, the color scheme with the burgundy and the yellow. You can use it darker to make it more rustic. It, it, it's perfect right there. You do a great time with it. The Red Tails. Bam. Sounds great. Red Tails is a great name. So that's what I'd say. If not the Wolves or the Warriors, Washington Red Tails would be an amazing name for the Commanders if or when they choose to change their name yet again. But that's just my thoughts, guys. What do you know? Let me know in the comments below. What would you name the com rename the Commanders? Make sure you subscribe and like this video. Like, make sure you like this video and subscribe to Zenny 62 Media for more videos like this. And keep bookmark Oakland News now as soon as you can. Thanks and peace.